Welcome to this Windows and uh, computer channel. Yesterday we had one video about how to make sure that your battery lasts as long as possible on your tablet, on your laptop, when you're on batteries. Of course, we talked about screen brightness. Now we're going to talk about background apps, things that are running while you're using Windows. Um, you know what? It's surprising the amount of software that can be actually running in the background while you're using your PC. And this, of course, will ask for CPU power, will have your computer running um, and asking more power, basically. The more your processor, the more your PC is used, the more power it actually needs to continue working. So how do you know what's in the background? Well, you can use the task manager in Windows 10 and Windows 8. If you're on Windows 7, you will use a command called msconfig. So on Windows 7, you guys will actually go on to the start menu into the run option. There you'll type msconfig, which is the system configuration um, tab. There you'll have something called startup. But if you're in Windows 10 or Windows 8, you go to the taskbar at the bottom of your screen, right click and click task manager. And there you will see the startup tab is in this one. Here you will see everything that starts up with your PC. And this is what you want to know. What is and what are the different software that actually start up and run in the background? You can disable as much as you can off of this. I've disabled almost everything here except Windows Defender. I usually don't want to have any background things running all the time. It's something that I find more annoying than anything else. One of the um, apps that takes a lot of power and that's very surprising on Windows 8 and 10 is OneDrive. If you have OneDrive running and syncing all the time, it might be worth it to just stop the OneDrive background process while you're on battery. You might see a big difference in actually the length of your battery and uh, you know battery life. And, and this is something that a lot of people don't know about you know it depends if you have access to power or not when you have access to power you know and you know you're going to use it for 15 20 minutes it's not much of a problem but if you're expecting to get as much battery as possible because you'll be gone or you'll be doing something else well that's when actually um you know lowering or having the minimum amount of amps running in the background is a good thing you can also go into the uh, Processes tab and stop some of the apps that you know. For example, if you see OneDrive, if you see uh, something that, you know, like a, a, an app that, you know, you don't want to don't use, um, you can actually, you know, click on it and have it shut down by ending the task. But be careful what you do here because you can maybe end a process that is crucial to your system. So... Um, you better just look at what is starting up that you can prevent from actually starting up and running in the background all the time. If you add one last thing, apps that are actually being used. If you have multiple apps running because you're doing different things, um, you know, ask yourself, do I need to have all of these apps running at the same time? Uh, concentrate on you know the essentials and uh, try to minimize or to you know just stop. All the other apps that you don't need you don't necessarily need to have um, you know eight tabs open in the browser maybe there's just one or two that are useful for you at the moment so of course the more you have running the more your PC consumes power and the less life you will have out of your battery if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching